Welcome, in front of me is a TCL30 and today I wanted to show you a couple of tweaks and tricks you can do on this phone. So starting off I'm going to begin with the dark mode which you can find under the display. Dark mode right over here and you can simply turn it on or you can also set it to be automatic based on a schedule so you can uh, have it to start at whatever time and end at whatever time you want. Moving on to the next thing, it's the screen color mode, which is also under the display section, which you just quickly find it. Uh, color mode, there we go, and temperature. And by default, it is set to vivid, which usually vivid is a little bit too overdone, over the top. Uh, so if you want something a little bit more reasonable in terms of saturation, I also have the natural look, which uh, it's basically my go-to option, if there is one. So you can switch around, you can also see the standard one and you have also advanced one though. Or we got it. Here we have also a couple presets. So this would probably be something that is, should be considered as a color accurate one. So you can choose whichever one you want, whichever one, color mode you kind of prefer. Now moving on to the next thing, also under the display, it's the edge bar. So we have it right here. And uh, this is enabled by default. And in here you can customize the edge tabs as you can see, if uh, I guess all of them added by default. So when you oops, get this, you can kind of flip through the pages. Now obviously, uh, this is quite barren at the moment. I would need to add contacts for them to be visible right here. Uh, functions, which as you can see we have some functions right here. I wonder if there is actually a split screen. That would be quite nice. But I don't see it. Um, anyway, what else we got here? We got a ruler and apps. And you can turn it off if you don't like it. If this kind of thing bothers you, you can just boom, toggle it off from here and now it won't be accessible. Anyway, uh, next thing, it's going to be the uh, next vision, though written a little bit weirdly. Uh, but as you can see, we have uh, a couple options right here for image enhancement. So we have image, video, and game. Now, it does give you this kind of side-by-side -side comparison of how it affects an image. So it does brighten it up a little bit, adds a little bit more uh, color to it, just so it pops a little bit more, but it's not actually like overdone. And this is done, like you can see, to through a couple different means, so images, uh, videos, and games. Now if you don't want it to affect certain aspects, like for instance games, you could just turn it off from here and get that out of the way. Uh, we also have a couple additional toggles below that, like uh, reading mode, uh, eye comfort mode, sun, uh, sunlight display mode, which uh, increases readability under sunlight. That actually seems like a neat one. And we also have the color mode and temperature, which I already did touch upon before, but it's also accessible in here. Now moving on to the next option, uh, it's going to be the gesture navigation, which I actually have no idea where it is, so I'm going to quickly find it. Let me just search it. There we go. So it's under buttons and gestures. You have system navigation. You can tap on it and we can select to have gesture navigation, which removes the buttons from the bottom and substitute it for gestures. So there we go. Now, if you never use gestures, uh, the way you use them is you swipe up to go home, swipe up and hold to go to recent applications, and swipe from either side of the screen to go back. So anyway, that being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.